didn't want to go to your little sleepover anyway. It's probably going to be super boring like everything that you've ever done in your life. Goodbye, loser. Mom, what are you cooking back there, Mom? Oh my goodness, hot dogs. I don't want hot dogs. Don't you have to go to work? Gabby, dear, I am cooking food before I leave for work. Have you talked to Gracie? And if you don't like what I'm cooking, then you can make your own food. Just had another great day running my bakery. A, 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 running my bakery. And I just love my new apartments. Oh my goodness, this makeover was the best thing ever. It's no longer weird and gross looking, and I'm no longer embarrassed of this place. Uh, no, I haven't talked to my sister Gracie. Mom, stop rubbing it in. You know what happened when she moved out because I got her kicked out of school. Ah. <sighs> And last I heard, she was running this super popular bakery. Oh my goodness, I'm Gracie. I know how to bake cake. I'm successful now. She just left me in the dust. And I'm tired of trying to reach out to her mom. I'm just tired, okay? She's gonna have to reach out to me for a change. And so I decided to celebrate all of this, this great fortune of mine by having my very first sleep over here in my new apartment that's right let's see um should i email my friends or should i call them oh i know what i'm gonna do hmm well here is the thing gabby she didn't do anything to you it was you who got her kicked out of the school by cheating and pretending to be her mom we've already had this conversation all right I just, I don't want to talk about it. Have fun at work. I'm just going to be here relaxing. By the way, is Gracie really living in that apartment building I roll over there? I thought I saw her going in there the other day. I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to look up a recipe for a really good snack that I can have at the bakery. Then I'm going to call my friend to tell them to come on over. Well, not the bakery, the sleepover. I'm going to make all the snacks. All right, that looks good. Okay, let me call them now and invite them all. Well, yes, yes she is. I speak to her all the time and, you know, making sure that she's okay and everything. And she is living in that apartment. But stay away from her, Gabby. All right, if she doesn't want to talk to you, then I guess there's nothing that you can do about it. Goodbye. Have a nice day, sweetie. Mom, it's not even daytime it's nighttime but okay fine whatever you say hey guys it's me gracie and i'm having my sleepover you guys are invited it's tonight and it starts in an hour so get your pajamas and make sure you're ready for lots of fun all right see ya make sure you guys ask your parents too all right bye guys psych i'm not gonna leave my sister alone is that <gasps> her apartment? It, I can kind of see it from here. Did she get a makeover? Are you serious? Ugh, that's it. No, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna tell her exactly how I feel about her ignoring me and leaving me behind. Hmm? The door already? There's no way they can be here already. I literally just called them. Uh, guys, you're a little early. Oh, Gabby? How did you even find my apartment? What look, What are you doing here, Gabby? You're not welcome here. Oh, am I? I'm not welcome? What are you doing, Gracie? Let me, let me look at your apartment. Oh my goodness, you did get a makeover. Gabby, get out of my apartment. You do not have permission to be here. Get out. This is where you're living. This is what you're doing. I'm so annoyed with you. Why don't you just forgive me already? I thought I was doing the right thing when I cheated on that test for you. And I didn't know what get us both kicked out of ice skating school. How was I supposed to know? Well, 
cheating is bad and you should have assumed that that's what would happen if you pretended to be me to take the entrance exam. Come on now. Ugh. You can cheat all you want, but don't drag me into it. And besides, it was just it was just the final straw for me. I was tired of you always just ruining my life. I had to move out on my own. Well, moving out of your own Gracie doesn't mean that you have to leave me behind like this. Yes, it does. You're toxic, okay? You're just too negative for me. Fine. What is what is with these sleeping bags on the floor? Are you having a sleepover? Mmm, yeah. I'm having a sleepover with two of my best friends, and you're not invited. So you're gonna let them stay here, but not me, your own twin? You, this is a new low, even for you, Gracie. Fine, I don't want to go to your little sleepover anyway. It's probably gonna be super boring like everything that you've ever done in your life. Goodbye, loser. Well... You seem really angry. Make sure you don't come back. Jealous. <laughs> Stay mad. Man, she's really angry, but not my problem. My friends are going to be here soon. Let me go cook the foods for our sleepover. And let's see. Yep, the room is clean. Let's go do that recipe that I just found on YouTube. So I'm not good enough to be invited to her little sleepover? Well, how about this? If I can't go to that sleepover and have fun, no one will have fun at the sleepover. Man, if only I could have also gotten a makeover for this kitchen in this apartment building, but uh, I guess I have to be grateful for what I got. All right, so the recipe that I'm gonna be cooking for my party is, I'm gonna make it my mission to ruin it and everything else my sister ever does. I'll make the chocolate cupcakes. My friends are really gonna love this. All right, and let's hurry too. They should be arriving. Gotta stir this up. Man, there's like, there's like no space in here. It's so hard to do anything in this kitchen. Until she forgives me. All right, let's see. How am I gonna ruin this sleepover? <gasps> oh, I think I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Alrighty, so I also have all this food for the sleepover and I put the muffins inside of the refrigerator so that after we eat, we'll be, oh my goodness, we'll be able to have them fresh. Um, Gabby, why are you standing outside of my apartment? That is creepy. I'm not standing outside of your apartment. I'm just standing here in the streets minding my business. Well, it's literally directly underneath my apartment. Look, you better not be up to anything, okay? I've matured a lot these past few weeks. No one messes with me anymore and gets away with it. So be very careful if you're planning on messing with me because I will take revenge on any action taken against me. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's get this food upstairs. My friend should be arriving any moment now. Oh, and also, let's put on some music. This sleepover is gonna be epic. Oh, it looks like my friends are here. Come on in, guys. I've got all the food and it's time to have fun. Yay, sleepover. Hey, girl, we are here to party. All right, come on in, let me lock the door. Ugh. Oh, look. We're literally all matching. I know, right? Your place looks really great. Thank you. I just got a makeover. I kind of want it. So, are you going to tell us why you didn't invite us over before now? Well, to be honest, I was a little embarrassed. And I just, I didn't want you guys to see in my apartment the way it was before. Girl, we are your friends. We would not judge you for living in a bad apartment. Besides, you're the only one of us that doesn't live with her parents. That's amazing. I know, right? You're awesome. You're awesome. Thanks, guys. Let's have fun with our sleepover. Oh, look, look, look. I got all these foods, too. So this is going to be epic. Sounds like they're having a lot of fun up there. 
It would be a shame if someone pulled the fire alarm. Yes, I've ruined my sister's sleepover. That'll teach her not to hang out with me and not invite me places. Although, she doesn't know that it was me that did it. Hmm, I think that's probably better. I get to keep on messing with her without her finding out that it's me. Wait a minute, it's the fire alarm. Someone pulled the fire alarm. Or maybe there's actually a fire in the building. I don't know, but either way, we gotta get out of here and... Shh. No, the sprinklers. It's ruining my apartment. Why did the sprinklers come on? Because that's what happens when the fire alarm goes off. The sprinklers automatically get set off here. It's ruining my computer. It's ruining my sleeping bags. Oh my goodness, it's ruining my hair. It's ruining my entire sleepover. But guys, come on, we gotta get out of here. It's for our safety. Run, get out of the apartment. Dude, my entire sleepover was ruined. I can't even eat the food that I made because it's soggy. And my pajamas are soggy too. I'm sorry guys, this was a fail. I don't even know why the fire alarm went off in the first place. Mm, it's okay, I mean, it's someone probably had an accident of fire or something in their house, who knows? Yeah, my roommates upstairs were probably cooking something and didn't know what they were doing. Uh, well, I mean, do you guys still want to stay over for the sleepover? home now. I can't sleep in wet pajamas and my hair is soggy and the food's messed up so I'll talk to you later. How about you spend the night over my house and then you can try and dry off your apartment tomorrow. Alright, that sounds good. Thanks. You're welcome. Come on, let's get out of here. Now, the next thing that I need to ruin is her little bakery business. Let's get home before she sees me out in the streets and puts two and two together and figures out that I'm the one that pulled the fire alarm. Thank you for watching my channel. Pretzel and so Pretzel and so Pretzel and so